Well, if you're used to using Windows 10, you're used to a jump list. You simply right-click on an icon on your taskbar, and you'll see the history of things that you're working on. If you want to use one, you just click on it to open it up inside of that particular program. But if you go over to Windows 11, you'll see that there's no history when you right-click on it. So how do we rectify that? You would think that you would go down to the taskbar and go over to the uh, taskbar settings, right-click here, and go over there and take a look here. But it's not here. It's actually located somewhere else in the settings app. At least this is where it's at right now in the first few weeks or months of uh, Windows 11. You just click up here in the search bar and you'll see Start Settings. And if we click on that, you'll see that the jump lists have been combined underneath Start Settings because it also talks about it in the applications in the Start uh, and Jump List and in the File Explorer. So that's one setting. Now let's turn it on and we'll do a test. So now if I go to my uh, taskbar and I right click on an icon that has history, let's go to my file explorer, you'll see it has links to not only my documents and pictures, but to other areas as well. Let's try Notepad. Well, it doesn't have it. So I'm opening up a document here. I'm going to call it Test. And I'm going to save this uh, on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And name this Test. And say OK. And... There it is, okay? So theoretically, now if I uh, go down to the taskbar and right click on the icon, sure enough, there it is, the jump list has been activated. One thing to note is that when you do activate that setting, if you go now to the start menu, you'll see your files listed in the recommended area. Sort of a misnomer, it's not really recommended. But it will not create a jump list on your icon in the start menu like it does in Windows 10. If you go up here and right click on it, there's nothing listed there. The other place it appears, it's a little more convoluted, but uh, you can go over here to your All Apps list. Again, it's not here on the icon. But if you go here, click to your application, you find the icon, right click, and sure enough, it's now showing here. So if you don't keep your icon in the taskbar, you can always go to the Start menu, find the recent documents there. So there you have it, a way to get those handy files to be shown up. Uh, in your taskbar list when you right click on an icon. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video. If you want some more, please subscribe to the Yo Guy Geek and click on the bell to get notifications. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. The links are in the description of the video.